G'day guys, how are you and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can connect to an SQL server or an SQL database within Visual Studio Code using .NET Core. So let's begin. So the very first thing I'm going to do in my case is I'm just going to connect or direct myself to my Visual Code folder. I'm going to make a directory just for this tutorial. I'm going to call it SQL Program Tut. And then just like normal, I'm going to go to my folder that I've just created. I'm going to type in .NET Core or .NET New Console. So that's going to create our console application. As you can see, that's created successfully. And now I'm going to type in .NET Restore. So there we go. So now if I type in .NET Run, you can see we now have the Hello World. So the program is indeed working. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head back over to Visual Studio Code. I'm going to open the folder that I've just created. So there it is there, SQL Program Tut. And if I close the welcome screen and go to problem.cs, there we have it. There is the um, project that we've just created. If you get it to asking if you want to do any assist, just yep, click yes and continue. Now, as you can see here, just quickly showing you, if I type in system.data.sqlclient, it's not there. The entire sense has got no idea what I'm on about or what's even happening. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to direct myself back to the console window and I'm going to type in the following command net add package capital S system capital D dot SQL client so this is the NuGet package that is required to connect to an SQL database so once it's finished installing your Visual Studio will actually want to restore you could do it within there Visual Studio itself or you could do it within the console but now if I go back to Visual Studio if I type in system.data under the using, um, as you can see, it now knows what I'm talking about. So now if I just quickly go to add my own code, for example, using var client or SQL con equals new SQL connection, as you can see, I now have all the options for the SQL um, library um, or reference, if you will. And um, yeah, I can now connect to an SQL database and um, so on and so on. So there you go, guys. I um, hope you've enjoyed this video. This is just a quick tutorial on how you could I suppose connect to an SQL database or add a NuGet package, I don't know, but um, you know, make of it what you will. Um, I hope it helps somebody, and um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.